Elijah, the messenger of God. 1 Kings chapter 17 verse 6 And the ravens brought him bread and meat in the morning and bread and meat in the evening and he drank from the brook. One day Elijah, the last of God's prophets left alive, visited Ahab and Jezebel. I've heard how you have tried to kill everyone who will not worship your wife's God, Elijah said bravely. But I still serve God and I have come to tell you that there will be no more rain until God allows it. The king and queen looked angry as Elijah walked away. How dare he come and speak to us like that? They said to each other, we must have him killed. But after Elijah had delivered the message, God told him to go into hiding on the other side of the Jordan River. In such a hot, dry country, rain was precious. When none fell, the crops withered and animals died. Food became scarce. Elijah remained hidden where God had sent him, drinking from a stream and eating food that was dropped into his lap each day by huge black ravens. But soon the stream dried up. Now go to Zarapath, where a widow will feed you, God told Elijah. So he made his way north and met a woman gathering sticks outside the city walls. Please, could you fetch me a drink of water? Elijah asked the woman. As she went to get the water, Elijah added, and a piece of bread? The woman stopped. She was as poorly dressed as Elijah, and he could see that it was a long time since she had eaten anything. I'm sorry, but I don't have any food in my house. All I have is a handful of flour and a drop of oil, said the woman. I'm gathering sticks so that I can make a fire and bake a pancake for my little boy. That's the last of our food. Don't worry, said Elijah. Go make your pancake, but please make me a small cake first. God will look after you and your son will always have flour in your barrel and oil in your jar. The woman hurried home. Soon she rushed back to Elijah. Here's your cake, she cried, and it's true. My barrel is full of flour and my oil jar is full too. You are truly a man of God. Please come and stay in our house. Did you know, at this time, the kingdom was divided into two, Israel in the north and Judea in the south.